Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a foundation review and as you guys can tell by the title, um, this foundation is very hot. I want to review the Tarte Shape Tape foundation and I was very happy when they came, first like launched it because I was like, you know, I love the um, concealer. So I was like, I had to get it and try out the foundation so that I can review it for you guys. But then... A lot of people were talking about like the shades I couldn't believe it but like a lot of people have been talking about it and I don't want to be like repetitive but I just want to acknowledge the fact that Tarte is wrong I just want to throw that out there but I want to review this foundation for those of you guys who are interested because I am I just want to test out this foundation so let's jump into this video so this foundation is $39 and I think that's a little like up there it's not the most expensive foundation, but I don't know if it's worth it or not. And yeah, so I'll let you guys see in the review. So the claims for this foundation um, are vegan-friendly, oil-free, hypoallergenic, waterproof, talc-free, and alcohol-free. And it claims to smooth pores. So this packaging is really nice. It's like a glass bottle, so it's like heavy duty and I only picked up one shade which is light medium honey I didn't get the hydrating one because my skin is combination oily skin so I did not want to you know get hydrating so I just want to say that like if you guys notice this little lash right here it's being a little whack I'm hoping that this will like match me I have light medium honey in the concealer and it's kind of light so I'm hoping that the foundation is a little darker I don't know but let's go in and try this so I'm just going to swatch this foundation right here for you guys. So it looks like this. And I don't know if you guys will see. So I was filming this and then my camera shut off and I stopped before I continued to blend it out. But um, I forgot what I was saying, but I was saying that this color is really nice. And I need to see if it's like good around my nose because my nose tends to um, like, I don't know, like it's a little spotchy around my nose for foundations. But I tried to use a scrub around my nose today and I just want to see if it will work. But yeah, so I am liking this color, this shade. It looks really nice, actually. Okay, so I have to say that this foundation looks super nice on my face. And I didn't put, like, so much. But this color actually matches my skin, and I'm really surprised. And you can see my scar right here. Um... But it's like not so bad peeking out. My chin is the area that I have a lot of imperfections. And as you guys can tell, like it's pretty much covered. And I have discoloration on the side of my face. Um, and it's pretty much covered. The coverage I think would be like a medium coverage. Just because I can see some like of my little, I don't know if it's like a little bit of freckles under my eyes but it's like little dots so my nose this is very surprising maybe i scrubbed but my nose around this nose area is not as bad as like other foundations um it actually like looks nicer around the nose area i think that this is like probably my new favorite foundation it matches my skin so well it's like probably the first foundation that matches my skin so well and I'm so happy and I'm actually very surprised because I was going to return this foundation but now I'm not going to return it, I'm just going to use it. So I'm going to actually put on the Shape Tape um, Concealer in Light Medium Honey and this is how like the concealer looks like. So I'm actually surprised that the foundation, I'm really happy that that foundation is not this shade because this shade will make me look crazy.
So this is after I put on the concealer and I put it, you know, as you can tell, like under my eyes. And let me blend this out real quick. Yeah, under my eyes and I can see still like a little splotchiness on my nose, but that's like very normal. I don't know why I need to look up like stuff to use. But yeah, so I just put it on and I'm going to be right back after I finish the rest of my face and I'll keep you guys updated. So this is how it turned out and I just want to let you guys see my skin. Right now it's looking really good and it is currently 12.37 and today I have my cousin's birthday so you guys will be able to see me check in later. Hey guys, so it's currently 6.10 p.m. and I started wearing this foundation around like 1 o'clock this afternoon so it has been like 5 hours and I went out but I didn't like run or sweat or anything like that so I'm gonna just give you guys a little update on my foundation and then I'll come back towards the end of the night and give you my final thoughts. So you guys are pretty up close um, but as you guys can tell um, it has creased a little in my smile line, like right here. And um, I'm a little bit shiny around my nose area, um, just like right here and a little on my forehead, like right here. Um, let's see. Otherwise, I think that it's pretty like on still. It's like showing around my nose a little redness, nothing much. And then my glasses will push off the foundation, so that's nothing new. So I don't see any creasing under my eyes or anything um, besides just my smile line and just a little oily um, around my nose. But there's nothing really um, bad or dramatic that I notice, and the coverage is still there, so I think that's really good. And yeah, so I really like it and I'll give you guys my final thoughts in a couple of hours. So I'm back to give you guys my final thought on this foundation and it is currently 12, 11 a.m. So I have been wearing this for um, 11 hours, almost 12 soon. But yeah, so it's a long day for me and I'm ready to take it off. I know that I am super oily around my nose area. But I'm very surprised with this foundation. Um, my skin still looks really nice and put together. I guess I didn't like run or do anything that would make the foundation come off of my face and it wasn't like I wasn't sweating or anything but <clears throat> it sure did last a long time I don't know if you guys can tell but my nose area is like super oily my t-zone especially is also oily I don't see creasing under my eyes so that's really good since I um blended out the smile line earlier I do not see any more creasing around my smile line I noticed that you can start to see some discoloration like around here and it's not bad I can still yeah like I still see coverage but I see some discoloration or splotches around here and it is red around my nose but otherwise, I think that this foundation was really good and it held up and it doesn't feel, it feels really light on my face. So I don't feel like, oh my gosh, like wearing a ton of makeup and my face is like heavy. It feels really light and I forgot to show you guys the application earlier. But you guys can see it from when I applied it that it is just a spongy like... It's like the Shape Tape Concealer application. So I think that this foundation itself is really nice and it's pretty good. I don't think it's as full coverage as the concealer, but I think that the coverage is really good and it makes my face look really nice and smooth. I understand if you guys don't want to like, buy it or support Tarte, but I'm just reviewing the foundation and... You know, like nothing, like just putting everything else aside. 
So yeah, so I am ready to take off my makeup and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos. So I'll see you guys next time and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!